Hi there, keen traders. This is Currency Watch. We're going to go through and take a look at um, the setups that we have going on right now, specifically the Euro USD trade, which is active in the Great Britain USD trade, where I have a possible setup where it looks like at this point we missed by just a pip to getting triggered into the trade. So we'll see how that works. Um, and then we'll go through the Aussie because we have very interesting de developments in that pair and the USD JPY. Uh, just because the the setups that we were actually trading last week in those are still very much active because they were on daily or four hour charts and uh, it looks like they're going to have a retest back into those areas which I am sidelined at the moment and then of course we'll look at our normal trades um, in the stackers and so forth uh, in the Great Britain USD you can see that this pair uh, this pair had a very nice harmonic set like uh, uh, harmonic uh, pattern uh, setting up called a garlic pattern is basically where the pair moves back up moves up and then it moves back down and the, it, it moves up and then it has a retracement back down on its ABC that would actually turn out the B of this if we ran a fib level from this X to this A uh, if that came out to be anywhere between the 0.382 and 0.682 fib and we had that and then it pushed back up higher which was about to the 50 fib and then back down lower to the 0.86 now the real entry point on this trade if I was doing it 100% accurately, it was around 163.27, I believe correctly. Uh, and you can see we moved right down. I had an entry here at 163.20, and we moved right down and missed it by a few pips. And um, I'm not too concerned if we don't get it, that's the way it is. Uh, but if we do jump into this, I, the reason I moved it down to 163.20 is because our stop has to be right here at one, one, uh 62.92 at least below low and I wanted to give ourselves a little bit of a lead room uh, lead room so that we had what they had 162 uh, 82 stop because I didn't want to risk too much uh, so we can see that the um, we can see that uh, the pair just barely missed it and now it's reversed actually quite quite aggressively right here so we'll see exactly what happens on that but that trade is open and that trade will be open until um, we get some sort of price action, probably a break up to this level, which the initial target is at 164.40 on this setup. You could even go for the higher one, 164.64, if you don't choose. If you choose, I mean, this, that would be target price one, that would be target price target price two. Uh, let's go and just take a look at the Euro trade. The Euro trade, uh, pretty interesting. We did get the general rollover that I've been looking for. Uh, slowly but surely, uh, not sure, I can't even be confident that this trade is going to pan out as of yet, but we can see that we are creating lower lows, and I guess as you can say here, I'm confident if we stay below this 167.78 level, if we break back below that, then we can probably just chop around here. Uh, but the trade is at break even, so we don't have anything to lose at this point except for our time and effort, which, you know, can't put a dollar value on that, can you? So we'll see. We're looking for a reverse back, and I, and I actually uh, put out the first target would actually be all the way down here at 134, followed by 133, and those are the, what I'd be looking for in this trade. But I'm more honestly, by the time it made it down to those points, this would definitely have to have turned into a stacker trade. So uh, everything would still be active looking at the, looking at that level. But uh, would like to see a break of this 163.39.40 level. If not, then uh, we just have an inside day here, and that's uh, that doesn't look as appealing. Now the Aussie, this was the uh, real buzzer beater of the day. You can see that this pair um, uh, had this pair this pair had quite a move lower, and that's when their uh, financial secretary came out and said that he'd like to see the pair trading more around the 85 level rather than where it currently is. And this caused quite a tumble in the cross. And uh, let's put, I think I can, let's put the most recent template on there. Uh, remove the templates. Uh, okay, and we'll look at the uh, setup that we had here. Um, I don't know what I was talking about before. This trade is 100% done dusted. Well, let's go through the odds trade that we had yesterday and just uh, look exactly what happened. Uh, you can see this pair moved up, went right into our resistance zone right there. I mean, I almost touched it to the pip at this 91, uh, 9160 area. And then we have the target prices of coming down here. Um, target price is the 9070 and then the, the, the bigger, longer target would was the 90 level. And we nailed both of those. Uh, well, we didn't nail this actually, uh, as you guys all know, this is one I was just testing overnight. But this trade worked out phenomenally. I mean, it would have been uh, 80 plus 
plus the uh, 160. So we had a 240 put trade set up there. And the New Zealand trade uh, seems to be working out just as well. Uh, on this one, I, I didn't actually put it out on the charts, but you can see that we uh, we went down quite aggressively again today in trading. Um, the USD JPY, now this trade is still very much, we could play it again up to this 103.30 level, and until we get a breach of this 103.72 level, this trade is in play at the 103.30. I'm not sure if I'm going to jump in if we get another pushback up there, uh, but if I do, I will post it out. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, this was a very easy, uh, very nice setup where we just had the pair, um, pair I think sitting in this is a bad pattern. Um, I think it's a bad pattern. Uh, you can see that the uh, pair at one, one, one oh, th 103.20 is where resistance, this is the uh, reversal zone. And you can see the pair just keeps uh, coming up into it and bouncing back down. Can't really find direction either way. But if you want, I would look for a move up towards the 103, 130. 103.40, 103.40 level, maybe, then you really don't have much to lose. Just put a stop up there, 70, 70, 30, 40 pips, and you can look for a reversal of that zone. At that point, looking for a move all the way down towards this 96 area. And that would be a large move. I mean, you can see this is on a daily chart. This would take multi months, but it would be nice to jump into it and then just keep adding on to the position. Um, Swiss franc. You can see, I mean, we had that trade, didn't work out. It is trying to reverse. Would be nice to finally get a reverse here that I can start stacking into these trades. I am getting tired of being on the sidelines in this in in this in this, in this things. Um, but you saw the thing, I mean, basically, I was a little bit disappointed on the way I handled the stagger trade in this range. I should have jumped in on these pro this, this consolidation range and not taking the losses and in the US Swiss franc I was a little bit too I was worried too much about the euro trade I have to think of each one as independent even though there are a lot of correlations but that's just the only way you can do it um, so in the um, in the stacker trades you can see that in the Swiss we're looking to hopefully get a break but you need at least a break of this uh, I would almost say this area right here at 80, 89.30 to really get any momentum going and be comfortable. And um, I might even say this 89.40 to be honest. And uh, we'll have to watch that. If we get a break of that, then we could definitely see a reversal happening. And same with the Euro USD. Uh, it would be nice definitely to close down here. And we'll ride our stops down with that if we keep get a break lower. But I mean, to consider stacking into this trade, we definitely need to break around this 137.53 level. And the pound, uh, you just need to break to this area here. And looks we're coming back to our, our one, one, uh, one, uh, 63.26. Now this is just a short-term trade looking for a spike higher. I'm not saying I see a change in momentum or anything like that. I think we could just see continued consolidation. Uh, we look at the layups um, in the FIB trades, which uh, I've been drifting further and further away from, but I'm still keeping definitely keeping an eye on them. It's uh, We've actually did pretty well. We're up 65 pips, I believe, so far this week. It's just... Um, the uh, they become uh, less well because the volatility is down so much. We're seeing less and less, uh, poss less and less uh, good opportunities. Now we're gonna have a great one right here in this great Britain out of this jump, uh, this giant jump higher. We have so many fib levels going on here. Well, that one's a good one. Uh, you can see very smart to stay out of this one. Um, actually, that's not true at all. You can see it came down in mist. Well, actually, that was before, but uh, it did come down and. And, and flirt with that level, but that was before I entered the trades of 21 GMT. And the Great Britain was still in that range, so I'm not worried about this Great Britain New Zealand still in this triangle. We're just going to break eventually, and when we do break on this, uh, we're going to definitely try to ride it to the top or bottom of the zone, uh, the range that it's currently in. It is respecting the 197.50 level right now. Uh, let's look at the yen pairs. Not too much shaking there. You can see that the Euro JPY is almost in a 50 pip range for the range for the day, and the Great Britain JPY just you know doing its own thing. And uh, I can just well, we'll throw a fib level on there for, for, for giggles. You can see that uh, the pair moved up to the 50 fib, and now it's right about back at it. So there's not much to say there, and unless I mean we have real direction, and again these pairs aren't that great to jump in and out of. All right, everybody. So just in hindsight, and, and we're we're still looking at our Great Britain JPY. And uh, and the Euro JPY. That's what we're. That's what we have shaking right now. And we're looking forward. We're looking to see. I'm just checking to see if maybe we got into the Great Britain JPY. Uh, you can see that the uh, 
only six pips away. Would like to get into it. I mean, get into this trade and look for the bounce. That would be nice. And the Euro USD, you can see uh, it's about 50 pips. Looking for a rollover. And more than likely, both those trades won't work uh, at the same time, but will be interesting in the end. The, um, the pound has been kind of beating, trading to its own beat lately, so we'll have to see. All right, everybody, good trade, and talk to you guys later.